That's right, Ravi. At one point, hundreds of students were enrolled here at St. Joseph High School, but this year, 185 students are enrolled. The closure is a sad end in the story of a school that came to fame across the nation when it was featured in the film Hoop Dreams. St. Joseph High School in the western suburbs, known for decades as a basketball powerhouse, will close its doors for good at the end of the school year. Students say teachers were in tears as they broke the news this morning. Everybody was like, wow, like, we thought it was like, oh, you're joking, but then we was like, whoa, when it really hit, when the teachers started, like, crying and stuff, it really hit. Everyone was just head down, teachers just trying to express words and their feelings about how things were going out. I don't know, man. It, was, it wasn't the best day at school. In a letter posted on the school's website, the principal says it was a difficult decision to close the school, citing declining enrollment and ongoing financial strain made worse by the pandemic. Paul Gattuso, village president of Westchester, says there were many fundraising efforts over the years to help the school. The school's been in our town since 1960, 61 years, and they've been a great partner to the village of Westchester. Notable alumni include NBA Hall of Famer Isaiah Thomas. He played for Gene Pingator, considered the winningest boys high school basketball coach in Illinois state history. St. Joe's alumni Terry Mister says he had the honor of being coached by him and says there were also high standards off of the court. I mean, it was the structure of going to school and being at a Catholic school, which was a little different. You didn't have a lot of freedom. Um, you had to do well in school because Ping was definitely not going to let you play. Many students are now trying to figure out where they will go next year, but those who did graduate say they value their experience at St. Joe's. It was just a family environment. You know, you walk in there in your freshman year, you don't make any friends, you just you gain a whole new family. At this point, it's not known what will become of the 30 acre parcel of land. Village officials say it's too soon to tell what will become of it. And the last day of school is May 26th. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.